Yeah. And also, Howard, how about uh, you? I wanted to ask about your relationship with your ex-wife's uh, husband. Um, how do you feel uh, when he takes care of the children? Do you have any problems with that, or is that I wouldn't even know any. I don't even know what goes on in that. I, I don't know. That's that's their business. This guy sounds like your father. I know. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about? <laughs> I, I've met the guy a couple of times. He seems like a real good guy. And my kids say he's a good guy. So that's all I care about. Okay. How do you feel? You know, and he makes Allison happy. So, you know, I'm I'm glad for that. Have you socialized with them at all or anything? No, no. I mean, you know, sometimes for, you know, kids' birthdays and stuff. But we don't really so. I mean, that would be awkward, I think. Right. You're not double dating. No, I don't think Well, that. when you do Thanksgiving or something, you don't bring the, spou the, the, the uh, spouses, right? We don't do Thanksgiving together anymore and stuff like that. We uh, do them separately. Which is uh, maybe for the best because it, it is very difficult to all be in the same room. It's I think it's even hard for the kids. So, do your folks go over there without uh, without you? Yeah, they do. Sure. Yeah, we're all friendly, and 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 my ex-wife has a great relationship with my parents because uh, don't forget, twenty five years they know each other. Does uh, do they still call her mom and stuff like that? Does your Allison? I don't know. I don't know that answer. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good... Maybe yeah, should, what does she call her I don't, new one? You know what? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know the answers to this stuff. Are, I'm are, really I'm really out of the loop. Are your parents mad at you for the whole divorce thing? Or? No. My parents aren't... They, my, I think my dad was a little mad at me. Like, he, he... My mom understood. My dad was like, you were married 20 years. Where's the loyalty? Why are you... And I said, Dad, this isn't about loyalty. We're just not in love anymore. Well, your mother does give you a zinger every once in a while. Does she? Yeah, you said that the other day. What'd she you say? Were at some big family function, you got everybody together, and your mom said, "Oh, it's so nice that we can all get together." And yeah, 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 yeah. She's, she's, um, what do you call it? She's like Sarah Bernhardt, you know. <laughs> oh, we're all together. You know, it's always like a big drama. Right, like she almost in tears every time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, like, how do you think that makes me right. feel? Like, just be normal, okay? Calm down. You didn't see the kids all that much when we were married. Oh, come on, you're seeing them just as much, maybe more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have your parents accepted Beth with open arms? Yeah, my parents have been great with Beth. They like her a lot. They've been really nice. We uh, go out to dinner a lot. Yeah, we have, we, we have a nice relationship with them. Yeah, my parents were pretty cool. My my dad was a little, uh, he was just really bummed, more than my mom. But it is odd that, you know, you still have funny feelings, you know, with, you know, the whole, you know, your ex-wife and her new person and your new person, you know, that that's still uncomfortable. Yeah, I know what you mean, but there's still a lot of hurt feelings there, and there's also a lot of, uh, listen, you don't stop caring for somebody. I'm just saying there's still, uh, that's what I'm saying, that there's still something going on there. Yeah, I could really uh, socialize, actually. I've invited Allison to some things. Mm -hmm. Like I said to her, why don't you guys come to the Rainforest concert with us? I, I would have been okay with it. I, I really would be. Um, yeah, but you would be okay with it, you know, like holding a guy's hand? Yeah, really? I would be okay with it because I know she's happy. I didn't make her happy. I just didn't. She told me. Well, don't say it until it's happened. You don't know exactly I mean, it's how weird. I mean, somebody That's I shared. Thing. There is weirdness. Yeah, I shared a whole lifetime with Allison. Sometimes I think I'm still married. When we're sitting there, we're talking about the kids. All of a sudden, you feel like you're still married again and like uh, all the good stuff you had together. I believe you do still think you have a wife. No, yeah, I do have a wife. <laughs> uh, Allison doesn't know it, but she's still my wife. <laughs> she's married to another guy, but she, yeah, and she I is think still my this wife. This is the way you wanted a wife all along. Yeah. So you could date. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. I, our marriage is much better now. <laughs> it really is a great marriage. She just doesn't know she's married. There you go. Nah, it's tough. It's tough uh, even on the kids. Even even your oldest. Oldest, middle child, and the youngest. It's always tough. And it gets harder, not easier. Oddly enough. It was only... <laughs> hey, if you can avoid divorce, avoid it. That's my, that's my uh, advice. But if you can't, but don't so get then, married. That's a good way to avoid. That's about it. the best thing to do. <laughs> you, don't get started. Don't get married. Would you say you're sadder now in life or happier? Because I think in some ways I'm happier. I'm really happy with Beth. I got to tell you, Beth makes me happier than I've ever been. Because I've never seen you this happy. Yeah, I'm. I'm really. I really adore and love her. She's great. She's really good to me. And uh, uh, we have a good time together. More importantly, but in a lot of ways, I get so sad. 
that my relationship didn't. I can't explain having both sadness yeah, and happiness. Yeah, I do have tr Every time you say that, I say, how can he say that? Because when I'm sitting at home and I go, you know, Jesus Christ, I had a whole lifetime without some. Why couldn't it just have worked out? You know, we had the kid. We had so much. You give up so much when you get divorced. You but do. But when are you thinking this? When he's alone. A lot of times on Sunday nights. Oh, yeah, when I'm alone, it's really bad. Uh, the other day I was going through a family uh, photo album because uh, Allison gave me the pictures so I can make copies. I was going through them. Oh, I, oh my God. I, I had to stop every 10 minutes just to walk away because I'm looking at the memories of my life. And, uh, you know, the, there are many good times that Allison and I had together. We shared with the kids, and you start to look through those memories. You go, you can drive yourself crazy. And I go, yeah, I'm happy now. Of course I'm happy now. But. Um, I was happy then, too. It wasn't all bad. It wasn't all horrible. It wasn't. It was many wonderful times. And you, you kind of say to yourself, well, what would have been the secret? How could we have, should I have worked less? Should I have, what, what, what could I have done to make uh, the situation better? How do you make yourself happy in that situation? I don't know. But there were many good times. And there's history. And there's kids. I was, you know, we had children together. I was in the room when our children, you know, I'm not going to share that with anybody. Uh, you know, we bought our first house together. All these great memories. And you look at it on, on film or on, you know, on tape, uh, with the videotapes or the, the, the pictures, and you can go out of your friggin' mind. Can I ask you a personal question? No, well, these aren't personal. <laughs> yeah, you've asked me every per how much more personal Wait, can you crazy? get? Yeah. All right. Like now when you're with Beth, like you go out to all different vacations, islands. Yes. It doesn't seem like you ever did that when you were with Allison. We is did. That, well, Allison and I did that the first 10 years of our marriage. I keep trying to, you know, because John has asked me. I said, yes, they did have a great life and great times together. We did. So what happened? Early on. What happened, like, with a lot of relationships, as you know, with many of your ex-girlfriends or people who have been married before, you start taking each other for granted, guy works a lot, wife has different interests. You know, don't forget, we met when we were 19 years old. See, that's the Are you still dating the same person you dated when you were 19? I mean, no, most people break up or they go on. I mean, Robin, I don't know who you were with when you were 19, but could you imagine being with I that person? I don't remember. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I so would never be with that person. I, yeah, exactly. And it's not, and, and believe me, I don't hate I Allison. I'm looking forward not to being with that person at 19. I miss Allison's friendship tremendously. I miss uh, talking to her every night. We used to have the best conversations. I miss, there's many things I miss, but we weren't feeling the passion and the heat in our marriage. So, did we do things together? Yes. This 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 uh, misconception that I didn't do anything. Yeah, as years went by, we became uh, less and less together. And I'll tell you what, even with my relationship with Beth, uh, I'm trying real hard not to make the same mistake. Like where so, I... So, uh, in other words, you're working at it? I am working oh, at it. Oh, <laughs> that's supposed to be this work. This is the thing he said he wasn't going to do. Well, I've been in therapy for three years, and uh, i got to tell you something. I'm learning some stuff. Well, it doesn't seem like work, though. It didn't work. <laughs> no, 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 no. It this wasn't times, work before. Let me tell you something. There are times it's work. Really? Sure. It's, tell it's, the truth. Because you've said that you've never had a fight with Beth ever. Well, we've had... You know what? That's not true. And that now is not the had, sign of a good relationship yeah, we've had, either. We actually, actually uh, Beth and I had some words last night about something, and uh, I listened to what she had to say. Instead of getting defensive, I heard what she had to say. Now, that's something new for In me. In fact, Howard used to make it such a control issue, you couldn't fight. Exactly. And you couldn't express yourself. See? And that was part of the problem. That was part of the problem. Allison would tell me stuff, and I'd say, no, I don't want to hear it. I have to make a living. Blah, 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 blah. Don't bother me. Now, this and time, then he'd go around saying, we never fight. Now, last night when Beth was talking to me, yeah, we never fought because I didn't allow it. Then, last night, I realized I got to listen. When somebody's speaking. To what she's saying. What was the fight about? It, it wasn't even, it's, it's not, not even, important. it's not important. It sure really, is. It. It's to you, it really isn't. <laughs> she was actually upset about my Star Wars review. <laughs> she felt the movie was good. You're not a real fan. That was her letter. You're not a fan <laughs> yeah. of Star Wars. No, but, but really, so what I did was I sat still and I, I listened and I didn't even respond. It I probably listened. was a little uncomfortable. It was. <laughs> I, it was hard for me to sit and listen because usually I want to say, no, 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 this isn't a problem. D d d please. Fix it, fix it, fix it. And then part of my thing is when someone starts voicing a, a complaint, I want to get the hell away. Mm -hmm. I want to I wanna just get out of the relationship. I, I get crazy. I get like, this is too much, bird. I, I got to get away. Yeah, can I say one thing? You've said that. Oh, you, you know what I said? I said to her, I said, listen, you're worth it. I'm going to listen to what you're saying. I'm going to try and understand what you're saying here. 
And I listened. I listened. <laughs> did, he say, did he say if there's ever been a, if there's ever a fight or would ever work, he'd be out of it? I did. But he, he's, he's I'm mature. realizing I'm mature. I'm mature. That there is no such thing as that. So then, is marriage possible then? Huh? Is he going to get married to her? No. I will he's not be married. married. I, yeah, I'm married. Fine. <laughs> but I will, never get, I will never have a marriage. I will never live with someone again. Ever. Please. Ever. You're doing that right now. No, I'm not. I'm doing what you're doing. <laughs> we have two separate residences. All right. Do, d the same as you. Okay. Do you guys sleep together every night? No. Oh, oh, you're not doing the same. See, I told you. <laughs> Does she sleep home every night now? Pretty much. Of yeah. course. She goes home to visit her apartment. Ah, <laughs> uh, be quiet. You don't know everything. I do, too. Well, I, maybe you do. I've sussed you. I love you. <laughs> well, you know, listen. And I'll tell you something. I, I've been together with... Uh, Allison and Beth and uh, her new husband. We've been together in the same function. So, but it's not like you're two or you know no. going on vacation. <laughs> no, no, that ain't going to be happening. But hey, look at Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. They do it. That's I, what I was saying. That they're you know once you really resolved every issue in your relationship, you can be. Hey, uh, Bill Burr's here. Why doesn't he come in? I didn't know he was here. Yeah, maybe he has something to add to this conversation. Bill Burr? He doesn't know what he's talking <laughs> I'm about. Teasing. Well, good good. well, what do you think? It's good to see you happy. I am happy. I, I, Robert, if you see when Howard goes out, like he's like the happiest guy I've ever seen. Howard is Howard. <laughs> What's that? What's that Howard mean? is Howard. Everybody keeps saying you're this new person. You're the same guy. You're right. She's right. But I'm happy. You've been happy before. I mean, you realize I watched your whole marriage. I've seen you this way before. They keep saying you're some new guy. You don't right. think therapy maybe I've has helped? I've seen him when he has cared on, in another relationship. Oh, that's right. That's what she says. She's seen you this way before. Yeah. <laughs> she has. Because everyone's trying to make it seem like I had a bad marriage. Right. I didn't and have a bad marriage. This never happened, and he was never a happy guy. He got miserable, and he's happy again. But I've known Howard to be a happy man in a relationship. Right. Thank before. you. So Thank will you. this last this happy uh, period? If he works at it, he stopped working. That's and right. I gave, I gave up my marriage for my audience. To him, because <laughs> it was easy, and he used to, he used to, you does, you don't even know what happened. I mean, but you never heard him talk about the relationship he had before. Hey, what do you want to say about this, Bill? Uh, <laughs> I'll be a chuckles. I'll be a chuckles. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'll be a governor. <laughs> what are you up to, man? How you doing, man? Oh, you married? Right. No, hell no. <laughs> How old a guy are you? Thirty-three. Yeah, you, you better not get it. You got a girlfriend? Yeah. yeah that's but fine. I got, like, the, the same deal you got going on. Like, I would never, I, would, I could never, like, live with somebody, I don't think. So you got your head screwed on straight. Uh, are you out to date? Huh? Are you out to date other women? No. No, no so I don't girls, I've got that kind of thing going on. But you know, just, what girl, some guys are lucky enough to get the chick who brings a girl home occasionally, but... That's yeah, it. like that uh, Jim Florentine. Florentine. Yeah, but once you get into a relationship and she starts caring about you, she ain't bringing all the chicks home. Yeah, and you know, also the uh, the sex changes too is what I've noticed. What do you mean? Really? Well, how long have you been going with your girlfriend? Uh, like nine months. The first, oh, like, gee, I don't find that nine months in well, as far, no, as I'm far not going to lie like, to you. I think the sex gets better. You're still having the same amount after more. two years. More. No, no, wow. I wasn't saying there was less. It just changes. I just found her in the beginning to be like adventurous. Hey, let's do this. Let's do that. And then all of a sudden, once they start caring, then they get that in their head. Like, oh, I don't want him to think that. Uh, I'm a whore. <laughs> so all of a sudden it becomes this I love you kind of sex, which is, that is nice, stuff, but it's, yeah, yeah it's kind of, you know. See, I like, I like I love you sex. Well, that's good. You're, you're a well-adjusted person. I know, I know. I'm not well-adjusted by any means, but oh. I like I love you sex. Yeah, I like oh, that really? too, but yeah. but not all the time. Sometimes I like dirty sex. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to get that. You got to get that from a whore. <laughs> <laughs> dirty sex is hard. Yeah, to but get. there's diseases. I told yeah, you. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Stops me. Is the diseases. I mean, but you, you, your chick does doggy style and stuff, right? Yeah, no, no, she does all that. Yeah. Is that your favorite position? With doggy? Yeah. Nah, it's okay. I like it. He likes face-to-face, -to -face too. Face-to-face, -to -face, on the side. I like her on top. She doesn't do any work. Yeah. I don't like her on the top. <laughs> See, I'm a, I'm yeah, a, guy, I'm a control guy. I'm a control guy. <laughs> I just want to sit there. And I always think my penis is going to break. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh. I, I'm too, I'm, I'm too really? afraid. I'm too afraid to give up control. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like it because you have everything in front of you. It's like a, you know. Eh, I don't need everything in front of me. <laughs> It's all right there. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's all right there, baby. <laughs> I find on top your, your arms get tired because they never quite move in the right way. They want to, like, squirm rather than go yeah, up and down. I, li I, I like to be in control. 
I know. Yeah. I sex feel is, like I'm, I'm in the middle of a men's Sex is better when you're in <laughs> shape. You know what Howard? What? When you're in shape, sex is better, too. It is. Like you feel I'll like tell you one thing. I'm 48 years old. I'm I'm sexually in my prime. <laughs> I can go. I can do it. Yeah, but you use the condoms. That's like a, that's not real. <laughs> what do you mean it's not real? You yeah, gotta you, use condoms. You're denying her some good health. You yeah. use condoms, Bill? Yes. Of course. Yeah, well, he's yeah. not married. He doesn't. Yeah. Want to you, you don't have problems. a kid. No. <laughs> It'll wreck your life if you're not married, and all of a sudden you're forced to get married. You only should have kids if you really want them. Yeah. Even I mean, if you, you really want them, you don't. So stand every a time you have sex with Beth, you use a condom. Of course. Every single time. Of course. Oh, that's. I, of I, course. How could that be? What do you mean, how can that be? I like condoms. I'm one of the few guys that likes it. It doesn't bother me. I take, thank God something like cuts down. One percent. Thank God something mouth, cuts yeah. down on the sensation, or else I'd be finished in a minute. <laughs> it feels so You're good. You're still as fast as ever. How unbelievable. Jeez. In two seconds. I love I'm Speedy Gonzalez. I need to be with a chick a couple of times, uh, like every day, in order to slow that process down. I'll tell you what I use. Oh, I'll tell you the best condom that I found, and I found I tried them all. It's called a sock. No. <laughs> Dorex. Oh, really? Like, I like Trojan ends. No, no. Dorex is the best, and they make two kinds. Sensitive and extra sensitive. Don't get the extra sensitive. Extra sensitive is for guys who... Don't want to feel anything. ...are premature ejaculators. Yeah, yeah but if you have an anal, do you use a condom then? Of course. Oh, my goodness. But I don't do anal. They all feel the same to me. I'm not that... I'm not, you know, as much You're as I talk about anal? it... As much as I talk about it, I'm not that into anal. You don't, you don't find it's like, exciting? You know, it's okay if you want to humiliate a woman. Oh, God. <laughs> if you want to objectify her. Yeah. That's the ultimate. If you want to really embarrass her. <laughs> but orally, you don't use a condom. No. Come on, come on. You don't get anyone pregnant from oral. Stupid. <laughs> matter with you? <laughs> but if it was some strange broad, I wouldn't do oral. You got no. you got to. How know. long do you have to know a, a person? Three days. <laughs> <laughs> she can really get to know him. Maybe one really good date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she a long adjusted. date. Yeah. So you still banging every night? Like once a, one... I'm not going to answer that question, but it's it, it's all good. It's all good. I know you have a horrible sex life. I, <laughs> I, think, I can't remember when the last night I had sex. Robin, what about you? you? Were, uh... Robin, what about you? How often are you doing it? We're doing fine. What does that mean? <laughs> we're about the same as we were. What, what, two times a week? A couple of times. Get out of here. What are you talking about? You have a about? tremendous appetite. I can't believe it. She loves it. She's vibrating. Oh, yeah. You're still vibrating when you're alone? When I have the time. I have a theory about vibrating. <laughs> I think only your boyfriend should vibrate you, and I'll tell you oh, why. here we go. I'll tell you why. I think if you vibrate as much it's as you cheating. do. No, what it is is, is that it desensitizes <laughs> you to being with a man. I agree. Oh, that's ridiculous. I think it's the worst thing you can do. I've yeah, heard some people say that, but yeah. I don't think I went to true. Stuttering John's wife's play to hand out uh, vibrators. Yeah. I, said to, I said to my girlfriend, don't hey, use it. give me that back. <laughs> I said, I, you're making a mistake. If you go to using that, you're making a mistake because, you know, <laughs> you get you get a buildup. You get, am I right? A callus? You get a no, callus, no, yeah. No, 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 I don't believe that. You build up calluses over there. You don't feel any less uh, sensitive? No, there's a whole different thing that goes on. All right. Completely different feeling. She's highly orgasmic. She's the type of chick that could just sit in her chair and have an orgasm. She doesn't even need a guy. She's like an amoeba. <laughs> amoeba? <laughs> she has her own sex with her own self. Is Mr. Do it now, Robin. Oh, stop. Is Mr. Rex... Show Bill. Is oh, Mr. Yeah, 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 I want to see. What? Is Mr. Rex Willow hung? Yes. What, o over eight? No, come on. He's not, oh, that guy? You know, that's another league. He's in this... <laughs> Plus, she has the vibrator. He's over eight inches? No, that's oh. John saying What, is he six? He like me. that way with John. Yeah, six. Then he's he's six, right? He's, you know, he's fine. Well, he's you're making a hand motion like he's 22 no, feet long. No, no, <laughs> Maybe he's small. No, he's not. Well, he's going right. like this. That's yeah. a foot. How dare you? That's a foot. <laughs> oh, Six is small for a black guy, though. Yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah. Listen to you guys. How many black guys you been with? Four. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not talking. <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. Uh, Rob, when we come back, we'll do the news with Bill Burrow be here. Oh, by the way, Bill's a funny guy. He hasn't exhibited that yet, but he's going to show you. Well, this Bill's has a, been a serious early. discussion. Yeah, we're having a serious discussion about chicks. Yeah. Uh, June 6th through June 9th at Caroline's in Manhattan. He's a good comedian. And Bill will be at Governor's on Long Island June 4th.